If I lift this pen, stop, drop and roll Flows might scorch up your dome and it's instrumental Broke your soul, cut deluge, ain't stop, dropping gold If I lift this pen, stop, drop and roll Flows scorch up your dome and it's instrumental Broke your soul, cut deluge, ain't stop, dropping gold I know they want more Black mesh key. We're gonna do some basic gray slacks. I can't see when I was in the pageant days and I would have to do my makeup like in the corner at 4 a.m. I would genuinely Do this with a little hand mirror and it worked like a charm. So I flew in yesterday I took the red eye out of Charlotte and then stopped in London for like one hour My best friend lives here and I'm able to spend some time with her and see her and just get to experience a new culture So far Sweden is so beautiful. I am terrified of the cold i am very cold averse i can't even shop in the milk aisle at the grocery store okay like i run for my life but i am staying with the locals so it has been really nice having all of the inside inside info i feel very prepared i'm wearing my multiple fleece lined layers i'm trying to kind of adapt to stockholm style i was doing all my pinterest research so i'm gonna try to keep it as natural as possible um I did do at-home lash extensions, but I think they only last for a few days. So let's just hope that these stay on. Obviously, I'm a little bit tired, but that is why I need to get out and explore the city a little bit today. This Swedish brand sent me products. So these products are from a brand called Swede. I really wanted to bring these products on this trip and shout them out. I've been like waiting to use these. And this is not sponsored not sponsored okay this has been my favorite little eyeliner you guys know the alex earl white really bright waterline i have always felt like that doesn't look right on me so this is the swede eyeliner pencil in the color bright but it's more of a champagne neutral nude kind of color which for some reason just really suits me a lot better i'm just gonna use this and open up the eyes a little bit today i'm definitely going for a naturally pretty vibe but y'all look at how good this looks like this gives me the effect that i want without looking unnatural so because of the fact that it's so dry and cold outside i'm not messing with any powders like i don't care if i look greasy the perfect slick back my flyaways have a mind of their own. I just packed an old toothbrush and a little bit of eco gel with me, you guys. That is the secret. Let's add the little fur scrunchie. In 600 meters, turn left onto Anschubingsbeken. What? Actually, look at my home screen right now. This has been my home screen since I booked this trip because I'm getting in the mood, you know? So this is the fit today. It's just white button down. I actually thrifted this. It's from Goodwill. And then I'm wearing my Costco thermals, my fleece line leggings. These boyfriend jeans are from Pretty Little Thing. And then I'm just wearing my little Ugg platforms. Y'all know that is like the staple of Scandinavian style right now. Jewelry, I kept it really simple today. Just some little chunky gold hoops. I didn't want to do a necklace because I'm going to do a thin white scarf. I'm going to finish bundling up. I'm officially ready. So let's head out. I'm going to head to the train station and we are going to take a train into Stockholm. It is flurrying a little bit. You see, oh my gosh, that was so pretty. It was like glittering in the sun. Hold on. You guys, do you see this? It is definitely cold. I know this is definitely running, but it's pleasant because I'm bundled up.
everything is so cute. I've been wanting like a black fur coat. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it today because then I have to carry it around and we might go to the Christmas market later, but so cute. You guys, I'm so, so happy I found this. Okay, you guys, I'm at a little Christmas themed cafe. It's called Cafe Ragazzi. And I just finished thrifting. I got myself some hot chocolate. It's perfect. Okay. And a Swedish Nutella cake. I'm gonna read a little bit more. Katya gets off soon. And I think we're going out to the Christmas market. Ooh, we're going through the Harry Potter Diagon Alley. But we are in Old Town. Gamla Stan. Gamla Stan. Gamla Stan. Oh. Breakfast of champions, you know? I just realized that I never gave you guys a haul of the stuff I got yesterday. I wanna show you what I collected. This is how I packed all my cozies, like all the little warm pieces, as in scarves, earmuffs, gloves, all the little things that make a big difference. So, I decided that those would also be the best souvenirs. As much as I would have loved to buy a beautiful Zara faux fur jacket, we have to keep an account that I traveled in one bag. So I decided I wanted to collect some winter accessories because they would always remind me of Sweden. And also they would come in handy during this trip because I only brought black and white, very neutral color scheme as one does while packing. I first went to a thrift store called Beyond Retro. If you guys are ever in Stockholm, this thrift store was amazing. The price points were really, really lovely. Definitely it's not Goodwill, right? You're not buying things for $2, but the pieces are really nice. They're very unique and they're very stylish. I've been looking for the perfect sweater vest for a long time. I have a thrift wish list, so I try to just shop for those pieces and not buy things that are close, but just wait until I can invest in the things that are perfect for me. I thought that this sweater vest was really cute. I can wear it obviously over a white button down or just on its own. It's the right amount of slouchy without being too oversized and too dad, too much of a dad vibe. So also the baby pink, black, gray, white. I think that's a nice little pop of color, but still neutral. So I really like this. The price of this was 229 krones, which is like $22 pretty much. I stopped into Zara and H&M. At this point, I had already decided that I only wanna be picking up scarves, gloves, hats, things like that, that I can use to spice up my outfits while I'm here. So the first thing that I picked up, I saw a lot of girls in Zara wearing hats like this in different colors. But basically, I picked this up, little mini story time. I picked this up, I put it by my face, and I was like, girl, it is blending into your skin. We are not doing that. So I put it back. There's always that girl that you never forget in a store. She is slaying, she looks good. One of those types of girls, a Swedish girl, like long, beautiful blonde hair. She was dressed in this like really cool black puffer hood on, beanie on. She was just like really slaying. There was only two of these hats left. I had just put mine back. She went up to the section, she picked hers up, and she was like, oh yeah, and she beelined to the self-checkout. So, of course, I was like, wait, immediately influenced, because this girl was like, she looked good, she looked really good. I was thinking about giving her a compliment right there and then, but figured, like, since I was actually carrying the exact same hat in my hand as she was, I was like, let me, and if y'all wanna talk about influencers, she, she influenced me on the spot. I was like, if she's getting it, I'm getting it. So I got it. And ever since I've tried this on, friends, close family members, these are the things they've told me I remind them of. One, the mushroom from Mario Brothers. Okay, that one I totally see. An acorn, 
I think I'm gonna go shoot this hat today. I don't care. I think it's cute. What I will say is it doesn't cover the ears. So this is definitely not something I'm gonna wear for a venture into the city for walking around all day. But for just taking a photo outside in my area right now, I think we can make it work. I also got this beanie because I don't have many good beanies. I just brought one white beanie. So this is like a um, forest green beanie. I love a pine green moment. I'm really into pine green right now. I love beanies with a hairstyle. So probably do this in two braids or something like that later tonight if we go to get dinner. Last but not least, I just got this big cozy scarf you guys can see it's carolina blue black and white so i just noticed that scarves are a big part of people's outfits here it's all about your winter accessories as well as the coat I am just currently having a little bit of tea. So today I'm filming some holiday content for Smashbox. I am gonna do a little bit of a work from home situation today. We're going to film a little bit, do some editing, and then I believe this evening we are all doing some sightseeing together. So that is the plan for today, really chill vibes. I am really happy with the pace of this trip so far because I am someone who likes to have a very packed routine when I'm traveling. I'm not like a big relax on the beach girl. I like activity-based days. I like to really see and experience cities while I'm traveling. I think because I work from home every day of my life, most days of the year, I do actually have a very small battery so having this time to recharge being able to work from home just be cozied up inside while the snow falls in stockholm is such a vibe i am also thinking that for my daylight activity since the sun sets here at like 3 p.m if i have time i may go for a walk around the neighborhood and potentially just grab a hot chocolate or something at a cafe. For the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and look through the concept for today, come up with a good outline for the content and just do some admin, send some emails, catch up on some work. I've just finished up some work and let's try this Swedish drink together. We grabbed this at the grocery store last night it's called Julmust. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Katya explained to me that Jul is like Christmas, like reminding me of Yule, like Yuletide. Um, they also have one for Easter, but I have never tried this before. She told me I absolutely need to try this. This morning I had blueberry soup, which is amazing. It's delicious. You guys saw it in the morning portion of the... Ugh. My hands are so dry that it's hard to just live my life. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, this is interesting. I can't read the ingredients, but if you have ever had the Indian drink Bhuvanto, it kind of tastes like that. Okay, it's also somewhat reminiscent of root beer. It's de This is definitely a bit of a difficult flavor to explain. It has that sort of slightly medicinal taste, but it's really delicious. Let's see if I can decipher some of these ingredients. Citron sira, citrus syrup, perhaps. This is so humiliating, please. Another thing that we got at the grocery store was this bag of goodies. So this is just filled with gummy snacks. Practically every grocery store we've been to so far has this, but it's like pick your own candy. I love i love 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 licorice and 
apparently a lot of Swedish people also really love licorice. So I've eaten most of these candies already, but as you can see, here's a little strawberry gummy. Those, we tore those up. But this is a very, I'm not sure if traditional is the right word, but like a classic Swedish staple. These are salt skulls and I've already tried them so I can't pretend this is a, try, a taste test for you guys. But basically, much like in sour candy where it's coated in sugar, this is a piece of black licorice coated in salt. So Katya was like, you need to try this. I'm, I'm sure you won't like it. I'm not gonna lie, I ate a couple on the first day and I was flabbergasted by how salty it is, but I can definitely see why people really like this because it kind of marries the flavors of fennel because you know how licorice has a very fennel-y taste with salt. It kind of does have a nice balance to it, so it's growing on me. It's growing on me. I don't hate it. I actually have been, we got like a good scoop of them and I've made it my mission to finish all of the salt skulls before I leave. So right now we only have two left. That's what it's all about. You have to try all the new things. We gotta try everything. We came all the way. So I'm gonna chase it down with my jewel mousse. Welcome to another day in Sweden. I'm currently sitting at the bus stop. Let's hope I take the right route. We have a lot of plans this weekend, so today's one of my last solo days, which is nice because I get to spend time with my friends and meet a bunch of new people. <laughs> I'm in Kunstra Garden. They showed me around this area a couple of times, but it's always been at night. I figured I would come over here, see it in the daylight. There are a lot of historic and government buildings in Kunstra Garden. It's also on the water, which is very, very, very pretty. The current mission is to find a cafe so I can sit down, knock out a little bit of work, and then I'll be free to explore. I usually would have mapped this out the night before, but we're just going we're just going with the flow. For once in my life I'm going with the flow. So let's find a cafe. <laughs> oh my god, with Acne Studios. Should I go in? Let me figure out where the metro is. So I'm just gonna head straight to the ceramics class. What I need to do is take I think the red line. I'm gonna have to wait for the next one because I'm already late, so that's embarrassing. Okay, we found it. We should go into this Swedish 7 Eleven. Okay, we're trying this strawberry juice. Yeah. 
The ship bossman. Oh my god. pumpkin cheesecake tonight and I am responsible. We're gonna collect all of our ingredients as you guys can see. I have a little list here of all the things I need. I might need to ask Katya for help in a minute but we got the cream cheese. I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of killing this. Okay, you guys, we are at the holiday party last day in Sweden. Love Sweden, hope to come back for midsummer. Wait, let me show you guys the outfit. This dress, it's from Meshki, and then I did this updo because my hair is destroyed from the snow. So I'm gonna get back to the party, enjoy my last night here in Sweden. Plot twist, I got stranded in Stockholm. I'm still here. Flight was really, really early this morning. I woke up, we bolted over here, and about 20 minutes before I was about to go into the security line, I had checked in my bag, done the whole thing, got a little text from British Airways, and they said, so sorry to tell you that your entire trip has been canceled. So I travel very often, but like within the States, right? I have slept on so many hotel floors. I have slept in the rental car garage literally waiting for a car never have i ever gotten a sweet okay a sweet snowy winter frozen view i have never received this treatment from an airline before is it just because i'm in europe do i have more rights here like what is going on this airport is a little bit removed from the city you know what i mean it would probably be around 40 minutes to get in and out of the city so I think we're gonna play it cool. That being said, I am definitely gonna try my best to seize the day. Let's see, I also may or may not have seen that there is a Love is Blind Sweden edition. So we have options, like I could really have a lazy day and binge watch Netflix and recover. I could edit and look through content, do some posts. I could go to the sauna and the gym and do a spa day or I could be productive. Like I could get really cute and go sit in the lobby and walk around. Okay guys, I am ready to head downstairs. I wanted to get a little bit put together, but I was not in the mood to do lashes or anything too crazy. So um, I'm just wearing the gray skims dress with my fleece line leggings, kitten toed shoes from Fashion Nova. They're like one inch heels. And then I am also wearing this really nice cashmere cardigan. We're gonna go down to the lobby. I need some water. I need some coffee. I need some snacks. My intrusive thoughts were telling me to just order room service and sit here and do my work because there is a desk. But I think I'm gonna go downstairs. It is currently snowing. We have this full view of the airport. Every single day while traveling, I feel like I try to romanticize my life, sit in a cafe, read a book. So just doing the thing that was best for me in that moment to have a good day, to have a fun day, to really just treat myself. So 
I want to continue that throughout the next year in 2024 i just went to a hot yoga class gotta keep it moving gotta keep traveling gotta keep doing all the things also you guys when i was in the cafe at the airport yesterday the girl working at the cafe watched my videos it was like are you an influencer do you make youtube videos you look really familiar there's no way that i'm in scandinavia right now and this girl in a random cafe watches my videos i have no concept of that because i live like a grandma i don't go out and i've always like glamorized that about myself i'm always telling everyone yeah i'm in bed by 9 p.m i do this i don't really have a life i make it a joke all the messages from my fans in sweden that i was getting during this trip something about that made me feel so alive like i'm gonna cry just like talking about this oh my god this is so weird it's just so crazy to think that there are genuine like i could go anywhere in the world and there are genuinely random people watching my videos to me it's just me and you like i am so grateful <laughs> to like go out in the world and to actually get to meet you it makes me remember that yes i can still be asleep at 9 p.m but i should be traveling the world and i should be meeting you guys and making content for you guys so yeah it was just oh my god that was so embarrassing please forget that happened i'm just so blessed and so grateful thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i love you so much and i will see you guys next time